The camera is shaking and that's why I'm just sitting here to let it not shake. Okay, it's not shaking anymore. Hey guys, so we are finally at this place which is called the announcement of the final book that we're reading for the group read. Thank you to everybody who actually voted on the previous video. You guys are awesome and I love you guys a lot. Um, so basically, we had a very, very tough competition, especially between two to three books um, in, during this whole week. And I was, you know, making a mental count of, of all the books. But then we had a nice surprise winner, I think. Uh, I think in the last couple of days, I would say, or like later on after two to three days of posting the video, the count for this number one book kind of increased. And I did a count of all the votes, by the way, and I want to tell you all the votes from the least voted to the most voted. So the most voted book out of this list will be read in the month of August. That's the plan. So let me start with this one. Uh, the first book, uh, the, the first two least voted books vote with three votes each. Uh, the first one was Chronicle of a Corpse Bearer by Cyrus Mystery and An A Custom Earth by Jhumpa Lahiri. Of course, both of these are like great books and you should read them sometime or the other. Uh, but yeah, I mean, as for the choice of the people and the opinions of the people, these three actually got the least number of votes. Uh, the next book that got four votes was An Era of Darkness by uh, the British Empire in India by Dr. Shashi Tharoor. This one got four votes and um, it was kind of becoming a front runner but unfortunately it got stopped midway. The next book that was actually the third most voted book was A Burning by Megha Majumdar with five votes. Quite a few people wanted to read this book but not as quiet as the next two that I'm going to announce. So, uh, the second most voted book, which I thought would actually be the uh, winner of this whole voting system, but apparently it, for lo it kind of lost by like a couple of votes, is Trade to Pakistan by Khushwan Singh. It had six votes. And uh, the next one is um, the book that we're all going to group read in the month of August with Eight Votes is a Fine Balance by Erohindan Mystery. So yay, we have our winner. Victory music, victory music. It's a fine balance. Okay, so uh, let me just tell you why August is a special month as well. Uh, you know, before I move on to the next steps that's going to happen in this group read procedure. August, uh, 15th August, India celebrates its Independence Day. And uh, August is a special month for Indian literature group read because it's also the independence month and um, i'm very excited for this one it is a fine balance by rohinton mystery that we are going to group read in the month of august but i am also thinking if we should take train to pakistan as a group read for another month maybe october maybe november maybe december i do not know let me know honestly uh, but that's like a secondary thought. My first priority is to get a fine balanced group read done. This is how the group read will flow. Um, from my experience of other group reads, we will start reading the book on 1st August. And then every Sunday, we will be discussing the book on Boxer, which is a nice application on the group. Uh, you can discuss this on your local time uh, at your local time Sunday and um, yeah it's it's a great book it's a literary fiction by the way and it's one of the most uh, critically acclaimed books internationally um, also if you do not have uh, access to physical books during this pandemic period I do have the ebook of a fine balance so if you want, I can send it across to you. You can add this ebook on your tablet or you can add it on your Kindle. Uh, it is a dot movie file, so I can share it to you anyway. Uh, the next thing being that in order to be a part of this group read, you will have to download the application called Voxer. Yes. Uh, so this is what's going to happen uh, on Voxer. 
I am going to be adding all of those people in the group who are interested in the group read. If you've not used Voxer before, that's completely fine. Go to the iOS, Play Store, whatever, wherever you get your applications from. Download Voxer and you have to register with your phone number and your email ID. But the good part of this is that if you're adding someone else on the platform, they won't be able to see your email ID or phone number, okay? But uh, for adding a friend, you need to use their email ID, that's all. So it's a safe application. You don't divulge any details to any strangers or something. So it's pretty cool. Download Voxer. My email ID on Voxer is for something good at gmail.com. So the email ID is right here and in the description box as well. Add me on Voxer and then I will add you onto the group for the group read which starts on 1st August. So yes, this is the start or the announcement of the group read. I think there are there is some time where you can order the physical book if you prefer physical books, but if you cannot afford a physical book or you cannot get one during this time like stated please tell me and i will email you the ebook so that's nice um i think that's it this was like the suspense that we were keeping for so long and thank you once again i hope this group read becomes a success meanwhile if you have friends family who want to read this book as well who want to join this group read of course it is open to them the voting system was just to see what would the majority prefer but if you didn't vote at all you're still welcome to join honestly it's open to everyone so that's it uh, i will look forward to all your voxer friend invitations and i will see you on my weekly reads this week so see you next time bye